As my day comes to an end, Lord, I ask that you would watch over me while I sleep. And as this day comes to a close, Jesus, please forgive me for anything that I may have done consciously or unconsciously that could have offended you, Lord, or your people. Protect my home and my family, Jesus, just as you have always done. Lord, I pray for restoration and healing of my body and my mind from the cares of the world today. Jesus, you alone are my protector, my refuge, my strong tower. In you, I can find rest knowing you have gone before me and you are the strong, firm foundation on which I stand. In the night, I know you will keep me safe from harm. You have fought and won my battles. You have hid me safe beneath the shelter of your wings. In you, I find my peace. In you, I find my joy. And in you, I will rest knowing I am safe from harm. Lord, I give you my worries and the cares that I attempted to carry on my own today. Your word says that you give rest. You give your beloved rest. So Lord, I am asking you now to help me rest and to remain peaceful with restoring sleep on this night. I was never made to carry the heavy burdens of this life. But Jesus, you have reminded me time and time again that you will carry those weights if only I will give them to you. When I am tempted to fear what tomorrow may bring, I'm reminded that you have it all under control. I need only trust your words and know that you are faithful. You have done amazing things for me, so therefore, no matter what circumstances, I will choose to say, you are the giver of my joy. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. Psalm 4 and 8 So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today, Matthew 6, 34. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3, 24. I lie down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. Psalm 3 and 5. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Psalm 121, one through four. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 29. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. James 1, 17. 
Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalm 107 1. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 and 9. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.